I missed yesterday. You guys seem to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Not much to talk about, just the fact that Phil Jackson no longer running the Knicks. Um, Ian Begley's story today, which is, you know, again, the, the morning after is always, okay, where do we go from here? And that is obviously now into free agency. Are you concerned with the fact that Steve Mills is the GM? He's you know, He stays, but it's it's for the time being. I mean, basically, that's that's what it is for, for you know, for this, in the statement, that's yeah. what it said. And it, it kind of suggests that there's still more transition to come with this franchise. If you're a free agent, now I know, again, the report is that already Jeff Teague now interested in the, in the Knicks, and he'd be a terrific fit. But are you concerned that whatever money they do have to spend, any kind of deals they could make, could be predicated on the fact that players say, well, we still there's transition going on there. I don't know if I want to commit when I don't even know who's going to be in charge or he's going to be coaching that team in the next couple of years. Well, here's the problem, right? We always say this. Is Jeff Teague interested in being a Nick or using the Knicks to Great get more money somewhere question. else? It's exactly what I was thinking. So here's what concerns me is that Ian Begley reported yesterday that Steve Mills was actually on board with Phil Jackson as far as buying Carmelo Anthony out. And I'm of the opinion if this organization was running the right way, that Phil Jackson has this conversation with the owner of the team who's responsible for writing you know, a $54 million check after the season was over. Here's the plan. We'd love to trade Carmelo. There apparently was a deal you know, back at the deadline to the Clippers. That thing fell through. But there isn't really a great appetite right now for Carmelo Anthony with his salary to go to any of these teams. We're going to get any value back. So if we can't trade him, then the obvious, the, the obvious you know, solution to this problem is we're going to have to buy him out. Right. That's a conversation that you should have had as soon as the season was over. Correct. This is the plan moving forward, right. and then all of a sudden— Here's what we want to do, exactly. and then you find out whether or not it's approved or not. And if he says no, all right, then we have to have a plan B. And then Phil can go, okay, if you're not going to let me do this the way I feel like it needs to be done, then we're all set here. I appreciate the three years and the two more I got coming as far as money is concerned. I'll be on my way. And that way you won't have those—I mean, in everything you When was that option picked up? Do you remember? Because was it after the season? Because if I had an option and I wanted my owner to pick it up, yeah, but I probably wouldn't bring up how much he has to – a big check he's got a right to get rid of a player until that option was picked up. No, and I understand that. But from what, everything I heard from Stephen A. Smith yesterday when he was on the show, that was kind of the handshake agreement as far as James Dolan said, okay, it's going to be – this is the deal. It's yeah. going to be five years, $60 million regardless. Unless you decide you want to walk away – I'm going to give you the five years. And he said that on the Michael K. Show. It's five years. And everyone keeps pointing to the fact, well, you know, if it was this dysfunctional, if you're the owner, you could get out of it after three. Well, if you made an agreement with a guy that didn't necessarily want the job initially, but you kept offering him more and more money and you said it's $60 million, yeah. it was going to be $60 million. 